All right, so we're looking at the Zoom H4N Pro recorder. This kit has several items. The first item is the Zoom H4N Pro recorder itself. The second item is the SD memory card. So on the right side, there's this door. Just open it, and then to remove the card, press the edge of the card inward, and then it will pop out. This kit comes with 30, a 32 gigabyte SD memory card. The third item of this kit is a pair of AA batteries. So on the back, there's a door. Just slide it to the right, and you'll see two AA rechargeable batteries. Item four is the battery charger. Item five is a USB cable. There's a mini USB plug and a USB-A plug. And this cable is for transferring files from the, from the recorder to a computer. And item six is this plastic container. And then item seven is this carrying case. All right, so uh, the distinguishing feature of this recorder are the two built-in microphones. You can twist them to set their recording area to 90 degrees or set them to 120 degrees. So when you're twisting the knobs, what you're doing is you're just adjusting the positioning of the grills, and that affects the recording area. So you would set it to 90 degrees if, for example, you just wanted to record one person. You would place the device parallel to the floor, point it at the subject, maybe within half an arm's length, and if you want to record multiple people, it, it's good to set the recorder perpendicular to the floor and then twist uh, both microphones to the 120 degree setting, just so it picks up more of, the, more of the sound in the area. So I should have done this earlier, but to turn on the recorder, on the left-hand side, there's a hold and power button. Just slide it toward the I.O. icon hold it for one second and then release. The device will turn on eventually. It can take up to two minutes. Um, it seems like if you have a larger capacity memory card then it actually takes longer for the internal system to load. While we're waiting for that to load just make note of the menu button on the right side and the scroll wheel above it. Pressing the menu button will bring up the main menu on the screen and then use the scroll wheel to highlight the menu option and then press it inward to select the highlighted option. And then to cancel or return to the previous menu, just press the menu button. Okay, so here's the main, the home screen. Um, I'm just going to point out the three modes. Uh, yeah, so stereo, four channel, and mixed track recording. So currently it's in stereo mode. Uh, important concept to know for all type of audio recording are, are channels. So a channel is basically a direction or a source that sound goes to or from. So in stereo mode, basically it's recording using two channels, these two mics. Um, and to set the mode, you would press the menu button to bring up the main menu. Use the scroll wheel to highlight mode. Press the scroll wheel inward to select the highlight option, and then let's just go with stereo. That's the mode that most people will, will want to use. Okay, so now we're in stereo mode. And then before you press anything else, just be mindful of the column of input buttons. There's mic and one, two. So mic uses the either the built-in twin mics or an external mic. If you have, for example, the receiver of a wireless mic system plugged into it. If you have an external microphone, then that will supersede the usage of the built-in twin mics. But we'll just use the built-in twin mics for this demo. If, for example, you press, a, press one and two, for the input that would use uh, the bottom inputs. But there's nothing plugged in at this time, so we'll, we'll use the mics. And then to start recording, first you have to press the record button, and that will put the device into standby mode. So the, uh, the ring around the button is blinking, and the pause icon in the top left corner of the display blinks. So in this state, the recorder is not actually recording, but it does allow you to get a sense of what it might sound like. Uh, just pay attention to the bars on the screen and the 
uh, label along the bottom. So that is the volume in decibels. And you notice it's picking up my voice as I'm speaking. And it leaves little marks to indicate the peak. Ideally, what you want to do is, on the right side, adjust the recording level, plus and minus, as needed, so that the two bars, the two channels, the left and right channels, peak at around the minus 12 decibel mark. That's the sweet spot. So again, what you want to do is place the mic in the position where you expect to place it for the recording. Get the subject to recite the alphabet casually, just their natural position, natural posture, natural voice. Adjust the recording level as needed for that position and their voice. And then once you're ready, then you can press the record button to start recording, or you can press the play button to start recording from standby mode. But first you have to enter standby mode. Okay, so we're already in standby mode. Actually, let's just press the stop button. So now we've pressed the stop button to exit standby mode. Now we're gonna re-enter standby mode by pressing the record button. And as I've said, you can start recording from standby by pressing record or play. So let's just press play. There we go. And one thing to note um, is that the record button does not function as a pause button. If you want to pause, you would press the play pause button while it's recording. If you want to stop, you would press the stop button, the square icon. While the recorder is recording, if you were to press the rec record button, it would just press, it would just set a bookmark like so. That's useful if you want to like scroll through your rec recording afterward. And that's really it in terms of recording. Now to transfer files from the recorder to a computer, you would connect it by cable to the computer and then use the menu button to bring up the main menu and then select USB and then highlight and select storage. Alternatively, you can turn off the device. I'm gonna do that right now. So you would just slide and hold it to the I.O. icon, and then once it's fully turned off, just take out the SD card. Um, actually, there's one thing, one useful tip is to lock the controls while you're recording. You might have to wait to change mode. Actually, no, wait. I'm going to disconnect. Okay, well, I'm still waiting. But while you're recording, you can slide the hold power button toward the hold label, and that will lock the controls to prevent accidental stopping or pausing and whatnot. And there we are, we're in key, key hold mode. And it's release. And just slide it back to the middle setting to release the key hold lock. And that's the Zoom H4N Pro recorder.